Welcome back, Officers of the Republic. Is your course on Honorable Police Chief AP Gaines here, and I am a man of the people. I am currently doing schoolwork for 12 hours on Thursdays because I hate myself and life is unfair, but what am I doing? Am I valuing my education? Am I working hard toward getting my uh, genetics degree so that I can become a functional member of society? I am not doing those things. I am breaking down the road ahead for January 2021 for all of you Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes players who want the information brought from the screen into your ears because you're laying on your bed. You're enjoying your life like I am unable to, and you need something to listen to. So you choose the person with the most annoying voice in the entire world, AP Gaines. Let's get into it. Okay, so we have the new road ahead. Over the course of the last week, okay, we talked about galactic challenges. Galactic challenges suck. I think we can all agree that galactic challenges were fun, and they were all right. And then they added the key card system for the crates, which made it pay to play because you needed BAM right off the bat just to get the slicing mods. They just found a way to turn a game mode that was bad at the beginning. They made it good, and then they're like, all right, people enjoy this. How can we make this pay to play? They made it pay to play. And now I don't even really do them anymore, to be honest, because they just annoy me. Like, beat the battle. I'll, I'll beat the hardest battle I can do, but do 50,000 damage with BAM. I mean, I don't even have BAM unlocked, so no slicing materials for me, which puts me at a disadvantage in GAC, but we overcome those disadvantages, boys, because we use our big brain. Anyway, so we're adding Conquest as a new game mode. Um, it appears that it's going to... Galactic War is going to simply be called War because it's going to be a galactic table. And I imagine that Galactic Conquest of some sort will later be added into that table, it looks like. A Conquest event will run roughly once per month. Okay, so it's like a like a, a less frequent uh, territory battle or something like that. Uh, with the event lasting for several weeks during which... Oh, okay, several weeks. I really like that. It's going to be a long-running event. So I guess it's more like GAC, where like there'll be multiple phases, but it will go over for the course of a month with like a week off in between each one of them. Okay, I can get behind that. During each event, campaigns are organized into a series of sectors, so it's somewhat like a territory battle in that sense, with branching paths and combat missions and special nodes. Okay, special nodes, I like that. That means content added to the game, but probably also pay-to-play being added to the game as well. Players will face off against a variety of PvE squads. As they go through, difficulty will match the rewards. Okay, so this all makes sense so far. As players complete combat missions, mission feats, sector level feats, or event level feats. Oh, so we got multiple different types of events. It's looking pretty good there. They'll earn conquest key cards. <sighs> well, they got us with the key cards again, boys. You know, sometimes you think CG is going to give you something and you're going to be happy, but then they give you the key cards. And, all right. Uh, we got key cards that will be used to unlock successively better crates. Crates. What is this? Modern Warfare? Okay. Uh, you'll be paid out at the end of the event with intermediate rewards you can immediately be claimed. Okay, so I like that at least. I like that they give you rewards. I hate the, the key card crate system. It's That means they're, they're going to shove in some feats that you got to pay for. Like, hey, complete this feat with, I don't know, Galactic Legend Jar Jar Binks if you, wanna <laughs> if you want the new slicing materials. Uh, we've introduced new shipment. Okay, we'll contain consumables, another way for them to make money. That's uh, typical, I guess. But the consumables are relatively interesting because they allow you to have certain buffs. It sees conquest-specific items will only be available when an event is running and only apply to conquest. Okay. I was a little worried that we were going to be able to buy consumables for other aspects of the game, and then that would destroy the game completely. If you could buy, like, 150% damage increase consumables and throw them on, like, your... I don't know, gas team and put it on defense or throw it on your Supreme Leader Kylo Ren and throw it on defense. That would completely break the game. But these are not for Arena GAC raids, etc. Okay, I really am happy that they didn't make the game 100% pay to play right off the bat. Um, I'm not going to put it past them to eventually stick it to us in the future, but um, one of the rewards players will earn a conquest coins, which can be used to purchase items from the shipment. Okay, so we have a new shipment, we have a new currency. I like that thus far. Uh, between combat missions, players will also encounter two different types of special nodes, data disks and merchants. Okay, so I imagine data disks are powerful items players will acquire that can be equipped. Okay, so these are different types of benefits. Okay, so these are equipped items, like if you were playing, a, I don't know, some random RPG game, you could get like an armor or a sword or something. I imagine it's going to be like, I don't know, a blaster upgrade or something along the lines of that. 
Uh, well, they're discs, but you, you see what I'm saying. It's like an equipable item. Uh, can be mixed and matched to give different strategic benefits. Okay, so I like that. I like how there's more than one that you can equip, so you can do a little bit of theory crafting there. However, each data disc has an associated cost. Yeah, there you go, cost, to equip and maximize the value. Okay. Data disks will last for the duration of the conquest event, but can be swapped at any point for a small cost. So it's similar to mods, I guess. You're going to have a, a specific set that you can acquire, equip, mix and match. So it's like mods 2.0. So uh, there's definitely going to be a lot of theory crafting going on with this. You're going to have to get your mods right, your teams right, your data disks right. There's going to be a lot of potential variability, which will make it more complicated so the skill cap will be much higher but it will also allow people who can get those three crafts out there to say hey if you use this squad with these mods and then these data discs you can get around certain feats which i really like i like how they give us more chances to potentially get through this i imagine that increase in chance is always is not that increase in chance is also going to increase difficulty so uh there's definitely going to be some some crazy theory crafts going on Merchants are the other type of special nodes and will appear in different points in each sector, offering a selection of different items for purchase. Awesome. More stuff to purchase, including consumables. I really don't like consumables because I play a lot of games in my life, and consumables are always the most pay-to-play aspect of any game because they only get used once. They don't exist after that. And they always give you big buffs, damage, defense, stuff like that, speed. So consumables are going to be definitely pay to play. So you're going to see a lot of uh, bigger people are going to say, well, I got this event done using this. But yeah, if you, if you buy 50 bucks worth of consumables, I would imagine that. So hopefully the consumables just make it easier instead of making it possible. So if the event is completable with consumables that literally everyone can have, I'm fine with that. But if it's like if you want to be beat the boss battle, I think it's something about a boss battle at the end. If you want to beat the end of the... Uh, conquest boss battle you need these specific incredibly hard to get consumables i i'm not a huge fan of that because then you know new players mid game players even late game players who don't even spend that much because we have late game players who are free to play um i mean for a long time like i'll use our arch nemesis cubs fan han for example he had a big free to play pledge i mean he was by no means free to play with the account but he wasn't really spending money and he was progressing towards that end game area there's a lot of players like that who don't spend much money anymore but have counts from years and years ago so if you if they happen to screw people over that have been playing forever and have those big accounts i'm gonna be pretty upset um i imagine i won't be spending much on consumables to be honest because i don't really like giving them my money also i'm broke college uh conquest has a new energy type which can be spent to play combat missions. I figured they'd have new energy. Energy is charged at the beginning of Conquest. Conquest also features new mechanics like stamina. Unlike energy, stamina is only depleted when a character successfully completes a combat mission. Okay, so I really like that. Because if you went in, and let's say you used your, your SLKR team, and you messed up, and then when you lose stamina, when stamina falls, their effectiveness in combat will also diminish. So let's say you couldn't beat it with a 100% stamina SLKR team, and then you lose, and now you're at like an 80% SLKR team. There's no hope. Like that's how they that's how they stick it to you. That's how they make you buy stamina <laughs> refreshes. Are they gonna open up a gym? It's like, can I put my like can I put my Jenna Knight Anakin in like a, a weightlifting session, like a cardio session, get his stamina up? A character with zero stamina, I imagine, obviously cannot go into battle. However, stamina can be stored either through passive regeneration or the use of stamina. Consumables. What did I tell you? Okay, so consumables, consumables, consumables. We're still developing and, and tuning what we have to share with you coming weeks before the event. But early feedback has been promising, and we can't wait to introduce Conquest. So I am a huge fan of them adding content. CG Eric, shout out to you, I guess. Look how beautiful he is. That's such a, such a beautiful man. Um, I'm a huge fan of increase in content. What I'm not a fan of is taking content, because a lot of games will do this. They'll create content that's easy, fun, enjoyable, all of the stuff that you want in content. You'll get used to it for a little while, and then they'll change some aspect of it, like they did with the crates. And they'll make it pay to play, or pay to win, rather. 
you can still do the event. You can still kind of have the fun, but you're not going to get any of the rewards unless you you're spending money. If you don't, if you didn't have Bam Day One, I mean, imagine all of the the slicing materials that you didn't get, and now you're going up against in GACs. If you're like seven million GP, and you just didn't didn't happen to have Bam for whatever reason, you didn't whale, you didn't get all those characters up to seven stars right away, you're facing other top level players who who did whale hundreds of thousands of dollars to get all the characters right away. And then they have all the slice materials. So now their Darth Revan team is faster than yours. Their Gas team is faster than yours. All of their Galactic Legends teams are faster than yours. All of their Bounty Hunters, all of their literally everything. They're going to be so much faster. They're going to have more more protection. They're going to have more offense. You're going to have a huge disadvantage because you guys have probably been even forever. Because mods are RNG, but you've been playing so long that you probably have time for new mods. But now that mods can get even better, there's quickly that power curve. Like when they added relics for the first time. I imagine now that Relic 8 is out. When there's a new progression, the people who get on that progression early are going to dominate. Dominate. It's like for early game players. If you get that negotiator right away, you're going to dominate fleets until people catch up. Because you're just the first person to get the new thing. So I'm really hopeful that this is going to not be like Galactic Challenges. But I mean, I've played too many EA games. I've played too many games in general. I've played Galaxy of Heroes too long to not expect CG to find a way to make this unbelievably pay to play. So excuse me if I'm a little pessimistic, but uh, I do have to get back to class. So please leave in the comments what you think about this. Uh, please encourage me. Tell me like, hey, man, CG's finally changed after all these years. They're not going to screw us over. Um, I love to read your comments. I reply to all of them. Uh, as always, I'll see you guys later.